All right. Welcome to our notes on geometric probability and area of sectors. So today we're going to talk about how to take the area of a sector, which is basically a section of a circle. And then we're also going to use that to calculate probability. Uh, so first, what we want to take a look at is the area of our sector. So for the area of a sector, you'll notice Part of it is the area formula for a circle, pi r squared. Well, since we're taking part of that circle, we're going to figure out how much of the circle it is. And we'll talk about information with the circles with um, this as well. So to do this, we're going to do the angle that they give us. They're going to give us the angle when we do this over 360. Because uh, 360 would be the whole circle. So we're doing the part over the whole in order to figure out what our fraction is for the section of the circle that we're finding. When we have probability, it's going to be the similar idea, except we're going to need the area that we want. So we're going to have the area of the region we want over the area of the whole shape. So when we do this, we're going to have to figure out um, the area of the whole shape as well, which we have to kind of do that in the process of figuring this out. So that works out. Uh, so before we get into our examples, I would just give you a brief example here. Our angle in this example over here would be 135 degrees because that's what's written here. So we would do 135 over 360 times pi r squared. All right, so let's take a look at some examples here. So they gave us a circle here. We're going to want the shaded region, which actually is 135, just like our example from before. So we're going to want to find the area of the shaded region. So we're going to need our radius, they gave us our radius, which is 22. So it's going to be A equals, we need our fraction. So it's going to be our degrees, 135 over the total degrees, which would be 360 times pi times the radius squared, so times 22 squared. Now, we can do this in pieces, so let's do this in pieces. First, let's figure out and simplify this fraction here. So 135 over 360 is the same as 3 eighths, or if we want to write it in decimal form, it's going to be 0 0.375. And then that's going to be times pi. Remember, pi, we can use 3.14. So times 3.14 times 22 squared. So let's find out what 22 squared is. That's 484. Now remember, this is in inches for our length. So our area is square units. So when we're all done, our units are going to be inches squared. So let's multiply all three of these numbers together. All right, that's going to give us 569.91 inches squared. Now remember, all I did was multiply these three together, and then our units are inches squared because it's a shaded section. So that's the area of this blue section, not the full circle. We'll take a look at that uh, part later. All right. And then we have this is example. All right, so we have two word problems. I'll do the first word problem, then we'll see about having you guys try example C. Okay. 
pie has a diameter of nine inches. So that's important to look at here is they said diameter of nine inches and is cut into 10 congruent. Congruent for us means they're all the same side. And we'll talk about more in congruence later in this class as well. Uh, 10 congruent slices. What is the area of one slice to the nearest hundredth? So that's two decimal places. Uh, so the nice thing with here is they actually, they gave us, oops, they gave us our fraction, so we don't need the degrees this time. So if there's 10 total slices, they want one of those. So our fraction, for this part is going to be 1 out of 10 pi r squared. Now, you just kind of have to think about um, what information they're giving you when you do these sometimes. Now, if they give you the degree measures, you'll do it out of the degree measures. All right, so let's kind of talk about this question as well. So in order to do this, we need the radius. Um, they didn't give us the radius. So let's see if you guys remember from circles, how do we find the radius if they instead gave us the diameter? All right, so remember diameter is two times the radius. So this is twice as long as what we need. So our radius is actually half of the diameter, so we need half of nine. So R equals one half of d, that means r equals one half of nine. That does not look like a nine. That looks exactly the same. Here we go. That means our radius for this question is 4.5. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a is one tenth times pi times 4.5 squared. All right, one tenth as a fraction is, or as a decimal is 0 0.1 times 3.14. And then let's find out what 4.5 squared is. 4.5 squared is 20.5. To five, and then our total area would be multiplying those things together. So times 3.14 times 0.10, and they wanted to the nearest hundredth, so we're only going to go in two decimal places. So when we do this work, we get 6.3585, so we're going to round that to 6.36. And then they gave us this in inches. So our unit is inches squared, because since we're doing area, we have square units. All right, so now that we've had an example here, example C is gonna be extremely similar to example B. So let's get you guys helping out with this a little bit. And then I'm gonna do example D because that's gonna be the probability question. So a pizza has a diameter of 14 inches and is cut into eight congruent slices. What is the area of one slice to the nearest hundredth? Right, so first let's talk about area equals, we need our fraction. What is our fraction gonna be that we use for this question? All right. So they said eight congruent slices. So instead of 10, this time it's eight. So our fraction is going to be 1 eighth, and then it's still going to be pi r squared. All right. Uh, next, to get you guys taking a look at this, once again, they gave us the diameter. So if our diameter is 14, what is our radius going to be for this question? So our radius is going to be half of 14 which is seven, so our radius is seven inches. All right, so uh, I will give you guys 
If you don't know, one eighth as a fraction is 0 0.125. Remember, pi is 3.14 times, and then I'll let you guys figure out 7 squared. So why don't you finish this off? What is the area of one slice of pizza? All right, so when you're all done, you should have gotten 19.23 inches squared. Um, so it gives us 19.2325. So when we round, we just round to 19.23. All right, find the probability that a point chosen would lie in the shaded region. So they give us all the information we need, even though it doesn't look like it. Remember, this means it's a right angle, so it's 90 degrees. So we first need to figure out what is the degree measure of a shaded region. So the shaded region is going to be the leftovers. So they gave us 60, 60, 90, 30. So we need to figure out what's left of the 360. So 60 plus 60 plus 90 plus 30 is 240. So that means that 360, the total degrees of a circle, minus 240 would be the shaded region, which is 120. So our shaded region is 120 degrees. And that's going to be important for finding the area of the shaded region because for this, probability is the area of the shaded region for us over the total area. So we need to figure out what's the area of the shaded region. What's the area of the total circle? So this actually isn't too bad because part of finding the area of the shaded region technically includes finding the area of the circle. So let's do the area of the circle first. So area is pi r squared. They gave us the total distance across the circle, which is 10. So that means our r is 5 because that's half of 10. So it's going to be 3.14 times 5 squared, which is 3.14 times 25, which is 78.5 centimeters squared. So that's the total circle. Now the partial circle the shaded area is our degrees over 360 times the area of the total circle which we just found so that saves us some time here so it's going to be times that 78.5 so if we do 120 over 360, uh, that ends up being one third. So you might want to just leave that as a fraction in the parentheses. So do 120 divided by 360 and multiply that by the 78.5. That's going to give us the decimal of 26 point. They want they don't ask for a specific decimal, so let's just do it to 1, 7. All right, so probability means we want shaded area over total area. So we're going to do 26.17 over 78.5. and That's going to give us a decimal. And that's going to give us the decimal 0 
0.333 goes on, so we'll just make it 0 0.33. All right, so for our probability, our probability is always going to end up being a decimal. Uh, technically, we learn about probability and percents at some point as well, but for our purposes here, we're just doing the decimal. Probability doesn't have units because we're not measuring a distance or an area or anything like that. We're just measuring the chance. Um, so with that, that's the end of this lesson. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in at the end of the video.